see first. The same thing. We read it, assess it, and see if it makes sense. It has to be, we have to be sharp about it. A client with left-sided pneumothorax. Okay, you have pneumothorax, fine. Tidling chest tube. What, what is wrong with it? You have chest tube, you have three chambers. Okay, this is the suction chamber, this is the water cell, and then this is the uh, work connect collection chamber to the patient. Okay, if I have chest tube and I have tidling, it's good. Tidling is good. I want to see tidling. Tidling tell me the tube is patent and the patient is breathing. So my breathing is good. You see where they give you breathing thing and they don't tell you tidling is a good thing. That means I'm good. I don't see this patient first. A client with right shoulder pain after cholecystectomy. Ask yourself, if this is the patient, gallbladder is on the right upper quadrant. After they remove the gallbladder, that is cholecystectomy, they're going to have pain on the right because of the gas. It's referred pain to the right upper shoulder. So therefore, this is unexpected. I got to be sharp. A client with shortness of breath two days after pelvic surgery. We say, okay, you hear shortness of breath two days after pelvic surgery. Tell yourself, pelvic surgery, there's trauma there. Why do I have to worry about it? Shortness of breath, pelvic surgery. Anybody who have surgery, you're likely to get DVT, especially pelvic surgery. If they have shortness of breath, that's not good. They have PE. If you have PE, you have what? Airway breathing issue. And therefore, this is a priority. I need to see them. This patient has a PE, pulmonary, pulmonary embolism. A client with dry mouth and takes ipratropine for asthma. Okay. Dry mouth, ipatropine, connect the words together. Ask my patient on ipatropine. What is that? It's anticholinergic. What does anticholinergic do? Decrease secretion everywhere. So I pull uh, your bowel sign will go down. So constipation, okay, urine output retention, worsening your glycoma and dry mouth. So this one, I'm not worried. A client in semi fowler position one hour after kidney biopsy. Then your attendant should go up. Kidney biopsy, fowler position. Why are they connecting this thing to me? And they give me an hour. Pay attention. One hour, kidney biopsy. So those are my keywords. One hour, kidney, kidney biopsy and semi fowler. Kidney and liver are really vascular organs. If you stick a needle in the vessel, it will bleed. Because of that, when they have biopsy, you need to put pressure on the side. Unfortunately, they are retroperitoneal organ, especially the kidney. Since you can't put pressure on the kidney, when they have liver kidney biopsy, you let them lay on their back because the kidney is on your back, retroperitoneal. So when you lay on your back, you actually put in pressure on the kidney. So this one is red flag. It's a B-sharp moment. How? Liver biopsy is a bleeding organ. They're going to bleed and I have shock. Shock is a B-sharp. So this I need to see. So that's what we have.